so welcome to the final day uh, of uh, Fake Smoke uh, competition program. We'll see seven movies tonight. Uh, we talked a lot about them in the previous days. Uh, you can still read about uh, the, our selection that, uh, that we made uh, on our webpage and in catalog. After the projection, you of course have uh, some Q&A with the authors. So. Okay, uh, before we stop uh, talking, also greetings to the both juries, juries uh, that we have uh, tonight, the critical jury and the international jury that tomorrow will tell who was the best. Uh, so enjoy the, enjoy the screen. Zate oddaljen krik. Nem, ne pogledam. Prosim, usiši nas. Zdrave, prosim, ne pi pude naše nade. Da ne si navijo za naš. In baš me briga, da bom velo, ki bom Diego Armando. just a 10% of uh, something uh, I want to do for a longer time, a part of a bigger project. So I'm very much into it right now. I'm not, I don't have the wider uh, rational perspective about it, but I will try to articulate it, okay? Um, I think that I was very much um, tired and exhausted from thinking about uh, like characters, relationship between characters, dynamics, plots, and like normal conventional uh, film things you have to make if you're studying film and so on. And last year, um, around uh, uh, last October or November maybe, I started to um, to draw my dreams more uh, um, more uh, cons consistently. Uh, and then I realized there uh, there is this uh, there are these parts these bits of uh, some uh, plays all the time and some of them are also swimming pool gardens uh, and yes I started to just uh, trying to visualize this uh, this uh, landscapes I'm calling it uh, this project like a working type I'm trying to visualize it in 
drawing and then later putting it into a um, moving um, media like film. And um, yes, it's really, um, it has this, uh, these landscapes are really interesting because they're like similar than like normal landscapes, but some places are maybe a bit more steep than normal or <laughs> it has some other uh, yes, uh, it's, it's, I don't, I, I prefer, I also was uh, watching some films that inspired me to change the point of view from objective, look at the characters now, to this directly um, being sucked into it, and for now I want to put this, uh, like making a Lego um, house, like a, I want to make this place, and then I don't know if I will feel like putting any characters into it. Maybe not, but um, I want to see how these landscapes are behaving and just maybe make, uh, maybe the next thing will be like driving through them and make a map geographically like a fantasy thing. <laughs> and uh, maybe a quick, a quick word about the, the process behind uh, your experimental shorts, which differ in a way uh, compared to the fiction films you made and you were uh, developing. So, uh, because we see there's a lot of archive footage from your probably cell phone or camera, and then we have always animation featured in your experimental shorts, um, you, the creative use of editing and so on. So, um, maybe you can say a bit about uh, the, what is the drive behind it. It's like super intuitive or um, do you, do you already like write a screenplay before or something? No, it's very nice because it's uh, like meditation. I don't think about the story or like previous, like in fiction films, I was like thinking oh, what is now, what burdens me the most, what is my biggest, I don't know, pain or love or something that I want to talk about and then translating it into different characters behaving different ways and putting them in certain, certain uh, circumstances. Here I'm just not thinking and it's like really putting something together and then I see uh, from the drawings, from the dreams, then I'm like, okay, I see this now and then I have a lot of, like, of course, like everyone uh, videos on my phone because I, like, sometimes I feel like the things that inspire me when I see and then I'm like, oh, I feel very creative now, let's go to the... Uh, editing uh, program and then I'm trying to translate this uh, image like drawing into the moving uh, thing, into the film and then I don't know, then I try to put uh, two videos together and see if it makes the correct um, uh, physical um, similarity to the things that I, uh, to the things in the landscapes. Uh, or it behaves similarly, or something totally new uh, happens, and it's it's really fun because I don't have to think; I'm just like playing. Detective Dorian. Greetings, travelers. Uh, so uh, in last years in Slovenia, like uh, we got uh, many uh, detective series finally with uh, Lake and uh, Inspector Branko, and uh, now uh, that uh, we saw uh, Detective Dorian in this, uh, this, uh, it it could look like an episode. So are you thinking about like uh, making a series, or you were thinking more about like being a standalone? Uh, the I wrote uh, 18 episodes of this, uh, which you saw is uh, only the first one. I don't know if I'll ever create the other ones. Uh, depends if I get the funding, so if there are any rich people here. Hey, I don't need a lot of money, so. But uh, maybe 20, 30,000 euros. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, what you saw is, is just the beginning, and then uh, they dive deeper and deeper into uh, uh, something bigger. Uh, it starts uh, innocently 
you know, he, he does this and then he rescues uh, a stolen copy of uh, FIFA 2018. But uh, it descends into Detective Dorian versus uh, nationalists and uh, global warming as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it goes bigger. Perkleto. Please guide us a bit through the process of uh, the decision behind the acting method because it's uh, this monotone acting which you explored in your Instagram uh, sketches and stories. Um, and it adds so much to the, to the, yeah, to the humor of it, all, all of it. So, yeah. As it happens, I'm developing, uh, I'm deep into a development of a feature film, so this was also a bit of a study about the style and tone uh, in, in, uh, when it comes to act, both acting and uh, uh, the photography and uh, so um, it, 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 it also acts as a training uh, for my uh, inevitable feature film uh, which is coming up in 2020 or hopefully, I don't know Okay, we're looking up. Uh, and maybe we'll see other episodes as well of this. I don't know. We'll see. We sure hope so. Thank you, Luca. Thank you. And uh, last but not least, we would like to invite Sarah Bizolci, the author of the last film, www.smd.si. The, the film began, uh, we, we could read uh, that. Uh, it's like uh, continuing uh, from uh, from your project uh, that, that was orig originally on the web on the web page. Uh, this thing that we saw. Uh, so, uh, could you tell us something about the origins of this project and what kind of uh, difficulties were you like uh, confronting when you were uh, putting this into film? Mm. Uh, to be honest, I don't really remember how I got here. I just started, I had an exhibition and I had to do something and it's just, I started watching movies and research and then I just found out that most of the sci-fi movies, like, they just predict that it's, the world is going to shit, so here we are now. Um, and then I just started making a web page and it just, it became this, long, long web page, way too long. Um, and then I think that Jerman actually asked me if I could, I think you said that if I could make a film and apply to FAC, so you know, here we are. That's it, it's nothing more, really. Um, but what was, when you were, when you were uh, making a film, out of out of your page, what was the stuff that was you you, you know you had to the most um, I don't know that uh, that was the most difficult maybe for you or that you had to think about it the most. Like the technically or conceptually. I mean, whatever you like. <laughs> Um, technically, it's, it was very hard because that was my first web page I ever made, so I had no idea what I'm going to, what I'm going through. Um, and it took me, I think, like half a year to actually figure things out. Um, and conceptually, it just came like with watching movies and everything. Just the content just came to me. Everything that they gave me. I just recorded it and put it in something new, so we contextualized, yeah, that. And maybe just the last question about the choices behind the dramaturgy of the film, because you start in heavens and mm -hmm. you go down to the beach and uh, then uh, climate change and then we see aliens and uh, AI and uh, we end up into the void. So maybe you could, yeah, walk us through the decisions of the dramaturgic development. Yeah, I think that's very basic, like heaven and hell. That's where I started. And then just like from the, 
the most basic things, where we are now, what's going to happen tomorrow, and then like what's going to happen in five years, ten years, a hundred years, uh, and then like when the whole universe goes to shit. It's, I guess it's quite simple. Um, <laughs> to the future. Yeah, but you cropped the the whole film. Like it was, it missed a few inches on every. Yeah, uh, yeah, because the texts like couldn't you couldn't read the texts. Boom! Very bad. Very good work. Oh, we'll. Uh, yeah. Back to the future. We, we, can, we can present <laughs> tomorrow after the final screening once again in proper yeah. way. But uh, yeah, we'll discuss it afterwards. I Amazing, Sarah, thank you. <laughs> thank you.